So I think it's important to understand that the term Southwest Interdisciplinary Research Center, the really key, there's two key words there I think is important to understand. One is that we focus our work on, on Southwest populations, be it uh, Native Americans, Latinos, Hispanics, other groups here in the Southwest. The other thing is interdisciplinary. We really believe that there's not one discipline that can really solve such a big complex issue. So what we do is we bring together people from various disciplines, nursing, nutrition, social work, psychology, criminal justice, all these to come together to bring these sort of intellectual energies together to really address a significant, significant problem. Well, the Southwest Center is already 18 years old. And what we do is understand what are the challenges our communities face in terms of health here in the Southwest and develop solutions to address those challenges. It's important because our communities are understudied and misunderstood. And often we don't include culture as an asset. Sometimes larger society sees culture as a problem. And our center has changed that around and try to understand how culture helps people to stay healthy. What we're doing with this project is um, taking an existing parenting intervention that was created for a prior project with the Southwest Interdisciplinary Research Center, and we're adding healthy eating content to that parenting intervention. Our goal is to test whether we can intervene both in healthy eating and the reduction of substance use or prevention of substance use among um, Hispanic teens. We know particularly for Latino youth that we are seeing many health disparities. They tend to have higher prevalence of certain conditions compared to other groups. And some of the root causes for those um, disparities are associated to lifestyle behaviors, some of which can include substance use and healthy eating. Every Little Step Counts is a diabetes prevention program uh, for community members of uh, the local community, specifically for Latinos. And the goal of this is uh, to prevent diabetes in very high-risk families. Um, started with adults, went to kids, and now it's expanded from adults and or kids to comprehensive families. So anyone in the household who is at risk or interested in learning more about healthy eating and physical activity is welcome to join. Diabetes is uh, a really uh, compelling disease, uh, particularly in vulnerable and underserved populations. The CDC estimates that 50% of Latino youth born in the year 2000 will develop type 2 diabetes in their lifetime. 20% of Latino adults have diabetes and of those 50% don't even know they have it. The U54 is a center grant. It's called a specialized center grant on health disparities uh, and minority health. And they give us funding through the National Institute on Minority Health and Health Disparities. And the idea is to do prevention work. That's what we do mostly in our center at CERC, but to prevent the onset of disease. Success of being a strong research center and doing work in communities of color or minority communities is the ability to engage those communities in the process of setting an agenda of what are the important health issues that they want to have addressed. We at the Southwest Interdisciplinary Research Center brings a level of expertise and knowledge because of the researches we bring. But what we want to make sure that we're not the ones that's dictating the agenda, that we're working in partnership with the community and the community helps us to begin to think, what is important issues that you would like to be addressed? And so our community advisory board is this wonderful group of people, many of them residents of the community, many of them leaders of the agencies that work in those communities. And so they become our experts in the field. Well, we are uh, learning now a little bit about the difference it makes long term. We already measured short term, they work. But now with every little step count, this U54 is allowing us to follow up those children who participated in the program originally when they were in the seventh grade, eighth grade. And now they are five years later, they're young adults. And now we see what happened. We knew that all these children were already clinically obese when they participated. And now we are learning, did they develop diabetes? Didn't they, you know, what happened to them? 
and we are able to find them now after all these years and they're coming back to the clinic to do all the different lab you know uh, tests we need to do to to see how they are doing and we surprisingly enough and we're happy about it most of them are doing very well 